Hello everyone, welcome back to a, another episode of Breaking Point. We are getting a phone call, as tradition at this point. Hey, did you find him? Didn't look too hard, to be honest. Does Davidov ever sulk? Hard to imagine. Listen, I hope I haven't caused you problems. I snapped it, it was unprofessional. Ooh, not at all, Casper. It was a delight to watch. You think it'll affect his decision? I've given up speculating, Cass. At this stage, nothing would surprise me. Yeah, well, we better get that result then. I guess we better add. And good luck today, Casper. Whatever happens, I'm so grateful for all you've done. Look, it's... it's been my pleasure. Connor Sport deserves to succeed. If the fates are kind, Casper. If the fates are kind. <laughs> I'm trackside. I'll see you there. Yeah. Cool. I'll be a few minutes. Okay, so I do not want to jinx it and say this is the last episode, but I think this is. We are heading into the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. You know, before the race begins, anything is possible. Anything. On the one hand, you have the true icons of the sport, certain drivers, certain teams who set the pace, who you expect to do well. On the other hand, you have the underdogs. And we are always there, always pushing for another place, another point, looking for the smallest opportunity, the tiniest mistake we can punish. And in that moment, just before lights out, it's like, it's like the world holds its breath, you know? Everybody just waits. The air is heavy, you know? And I knew whatever happened, corner sport had made its mark on the history of the sport. <sighs> and I was at peace with that. So you weren't nervous? Are you kidding? <laughs> so we know how it stands right now, but just how different might it be when the checkered flag waves here in Abu Dhabi? And it slides out, and away we go! Just... Do that. Okay, Aiden. let's see if we can start moving through the field. It's time to push. Come on, you've got this. Time to push, yes. I'm just like, Copy without that, that brake bias, I just, you know, creamed right all through. There we go. Oh, that was miles better. There's Piastri. Oh, oh, flashback. Last time I raced on this track was all the way back when they did the uh, F2 cars when Cali Mayer was going for the championship. Alright, so we got Stroll in front of us. Beautiful. We're right there behind them now. I 
got places to go. I can't sit behind you. Oh, you can go flat through there. All right, pass the slab, Aiden Jackson. That's not good. We will actually use that to our advantage. We'll use this launch. Fly down the straight leg is nobody's business. I was in second gear. I did not realize that. I'm a little bad on slow, uh, low end corners without having traction control. Basically. He lets us by. Too busy not paying attention to the road in front of me and the road everywhere else. there because I am not a professional at any means. There he is. I see him from here. Blue flags. I think that is for the car directly behind us. We should definitely be able to catch him before lap lap nine. We're reeling him in pretty fast. That's actually the fastest I've taken that corner up to I'm in DRS zone. Use every bit of I, I got. Yeah, cutscene. Down the main straight we go. Here goes Jackson again, moving up the field. What a great race for him. Yeah, it really is so far, Prof. I mean, it's a circuit he really enjoys. Remember the race in 2021 that he put together there? It was fantastic stuff back then. Who could forget it? Connor Sport need a performance just like that today. May is doing okay. Jackson really delivering.
Great stuff, Aiden. Come on, I think we can get one more place here. Push, push! Uh, stuff is not right. Assessing, assessing. Stand by. I'm losing speed. Heading down the back straight now. He's in a great spot, but hang on, he's slowing. He's slowing. Something is very, very wrong. Yeah, I think he's got a problem here, Crofty. I wonder what it is. Could it be engine-related? Look, they're throwing their hands in the air on the pit wall, and he's out. And, yeah, that's the engine gone. 2023 is over for Aidan Jackson. It's a dramatic exit, and it wasn't what he was hoping for. Something happened up there? Yeah, engine failure, I'm afraid. Aidan is out of this race. Repeat, Aidan's out of the race. Did you get that? Aidan's out. I heard. What? Let me speak to her. What? Why? Just give me the headset. Sure about this? I'm sure about everything. That's what concerns me. Kelly. Devon? Yeah, we've had a chat. We think it's best if you uh, don't push the car too hard. What? Why? Look, you're way back, Cal, OK? We, we don't want to blow your engine too, so just, just cruise it in and finish the race. It's got to be realistic here. Copy. Sorry, is this a team order? No, Casper agrees. It's just not going to make up that much ground. It can't be done. Just cruise it in, Cal. Trust me, you watch her go. This is what I think about your call, Devin. Let's go for it. They done me again like that. I feel like my brakes are messed up again. No, they're not. I just really broke it hard that time. Fuck. Got Perez in front of me. Oh, heavy, heavy lock is right there. Yes, fantastic move. You, you used your car as a battering ram. Great, good job. Okay, so the gap to the car ahead, 3.1 seconds. Gotta try that. Maybe just a little more on the rear to help front from blocking. Getting some bad, bad break up, break lock up. Mm -hmm. eh, a little bit of a oh, track on the stairs, okay though. I broke the car this time.
see a line of cars in front of me. I think that's the group I need, though. I wish I could turn the engine all the way up. Big lockup going on in the corner. I think it's just tire wear having something to do with it. I am trying what I can to manage the lockup. Second and lap on the car behind. Really good stuff. And that's just five laps of fuel remaining. I was closing up. They're fighting, but Hamilton's making a run for it. Okay, that's P7. You've moved into P7. Russell's trying to fight me. Do the crossover on him. I got Alonzo in front of me now. Oh, I got a. That looks like a Ferrari ahead of me. Can we podium? Can we give Connor Sport a podium before the end? Oh, well, car got a little out of shape though, but I lift it just enough. We are right there with Fernando. Out of his corner to help. Exceeding track limit. You need to slow down before. Ah, I got a warning. I was, I was hoping it wouldn't have done me like that. Podium. Unless something happens with uh, Leclerc and Verstappen, I'm uh, no, it's not Leclerc. Uh, is it Sites up there? Something happens with first and second. <laughs> uh, I don't see that happening, but a podium definitely doable. Especially if they start fighting in front of me. Not too much curb right there. Gonna slide all the way out here into the dirt. This dirt doesn't exist. Here we 
go. I'll have DRS as well. Hamilton's making a move on the Claire. All I can do is just sit back here and watch. And give LeClaire a freaking rear end and they'll get it moving. And LeClaire now fighting back on Hamilton. Was it close enough? And I'm just gonna full on lock up. Science has just completed a pass to the lead. But still no ability to hit on the brakes and not lock up the front. I don't I think it might be a tire wear issue. There's Hamilton giving it everything he's got. I unfortunately just don't have the ability to stop the car. Yeah, no, I'm gonna rewind. That's my problem, I hit the brakes and I'm just sliding. Even with the front brake at where it's at now, I'm still locked on it. Close! We'll take it. We didn't get the podium though, sadly. And to the checkered flag for one final time. That is some race from Callie Mayer. What an incredible performance by her today. Connor Sport sure will be very delighted with that one. And if you believe the rumors, Ant, this is a team whose future has been in doubt. Surely, though, they've done enough to return next season. I think they've been wonderful to watch. Finish the season. All right, let's see. It was amazing. I'm not sure I've ever seen a race like that. I was wrong about Callie. And how did you feel about the engine failure? There's no such thing as the perfect car. The one that failed us was the same one I got us here in the first place. So you've just got to drive the car you're in. Everyone's an individual. Which means that everyone is um, motivated a little differently. Take Devon as an example. He always responds well to having his ego brushed, to being told that he's the best. His greatest fear is failure, so it gives him further to fall, keeps him hungry. Callie, on the other hand, uh, has an innate drive to prove people wrong. If someone tells her something's not possible, she'll do everything in her power to achieve it. A sort of a stubborn determination that can be harnessed. <laughs> and then there's Aiden. I mean, when he started in F1, 
People thought he was a nice guy, but he was incredibly ambitious. It's just what makes Aiden tick. Which is why I may have started a rumor or two about uh, interest from other teams during his time at Connor Sport <laughs> to stoke that ambition. Keep his eyes on the horizon. A lot of people might see that as manipulative, wouldn't you agree? Well, of course. <laughs> Motivation is manipulation. It's the same thing. Is it? Look, the end justifies the means. After all, it's just business. Looking forward to next season? Just let me at it. Will you stay next season? I've told Casper I'll stay if he does. Do you still have a job after your run-in with Davidoff? <laughs> well, we'll see. We did it! We secured the funding! What a team! And that's all that matters. <laughs> right now, yes, that's all that matters. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're done? Yeah? Cool. Well, we have did it. We, we've we completed breaking point number two. Um, they definitely have left me off now with wanting the next part. You know, what's going to continue now with our, our two drivers? Are, are they going to win a championship? I like how they, they definitely tied up some of those loose ends. So Aiden, you know, they, they thought he, he thought he was really going to be the bad guy, but he was just getting fed information. And then, you know, Callie just trying to make it, and then Devin just being Devin. But that was actually really good. And I honestly, I, I I don't think there's ever been a game that I've played that is based off of an actual racing league, like, you know, F1 or anything, that has a story mode that actually gets you involved in wanting to do this, and then wanting more when it's done. And if they, uh, like... If they follow the course, it's going to be 25. We're going to have a game in the middle. But at least it gives them time to come up with a decent story. Um, so that is it. That is the end of Breaking Point. I hope everybody has enjoyed it, and I will see everyone next time.